All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Uh, today our topic is about Allah, Akka Muhammad is always right, even if he is wrong. Uh, before we start, I saw somebody in the chat posting uh, that the Christian prince always he lose a debate. Uh, no, no, he said he hang up always when he lose a debate. Well, as I remember, last time I spoke to Mimi Hijab, he hung up on me seven times and he muted me more than ten. I'm just using your logic. Just to show you how dumb you are. So when you bring me someone like uh, Mimi and Fifi, and they are the one, they are number one people who hang up on people and mute them. Uh, and then you talk about those in debate. You, you, you not even dare to debate me. And then we have a, a little kid, his name is uh, Farid. And Mr. Farid, he claimed to be a man of knowledge. He debated me, he won the debate by talking to himself, but he don't dare to call me, he don't dare to speak to me. Uh, no, CP, it doesn't mean that, CP. Okay, well, it doesn't mean that. Al Alusi did not say that, said CP. Al Alusi did not say that, no, he said that. In fact, he was quoting the Christian CP, where it says in the page he was quoting the Christian. I mean, but a bunch of liars and whatever you say, the Muslims agree with you in the chat, but the, the video is there and the chat is there. And, you know, they play for you a video of somebody leave Islam and he says, uh, little pressure, little pressure will make the guy leave Islam. So you are saying to me, you Muslims, over, over a phone call, little pressure, you leave Muhammad and Allah. So what do you do if there's no pressure? I mean, what, what does that mean? Nobody have a pressure, put a pressure on people except Muslims. Jizya, humiliation, you know, the Prophet says if you see a Christian or a Jew, force him to walk in the sewage because he's a filthy man. He have no ethic. Now, all of you are a bunch of cowards and you don't dare to debate me. So do what the crow do when he is like making walk, walk to himself. If you are a man, call me and prove me wrong. Anything those people they say in their videos, claiming what they say, what about you call me and just repeat what you said in the video? Do you dare? You don't. Now, we go to our topic. Allah, Akka Muhammad, is always right, even when he is wrong. No, because there is no way that Muhammad is wrong. He is God. You see, if we go right now in the Quran, uh, the Quran speak about Muhammad. The Quran says that Muhammad is light. Have you ever heard of a God saying to the man who is sent by him, you are the light of the world? So who is Allah? Muhammad is a lamp. Actually, Muhammad, he is LED, not only a lamp. How Allah, he is supposedly the creator. I forgot, he is the best of the creators. <laughs> he is the best of the creator or creators, as the Quran says, which is very funny and stupid, because he claiming to be the best of the creators, that means you admitted there is many of you and you are the best of them. Right? And then the best of the creators saying that Muhammad is the light. He's a lamp. Okay. Let us discuss how Muhammad the lamp work. Do, work. do Muhammad work by electricity or by the energy of Allah? If we go and examine the lamp, we will find the lamp is always off. The lamp is always off. It doesn't matter what you do. Let us see an example. This is the lamp is functioning now. When the lamp function, have knowledge. The lamp is spreading light. And what this light is teaching us, that the black dog is the devil. They ask the prophet, prophet, what distinguish, what distinguish the black dog from the red dog or yellow dog? He said, oh, son of my brother, I asked the messenger of Allah as you are asking me. 
he said the black dog is the devil so now for sure this is the lamp is uh, talking you know this is not a man his name is muhammad this is the lamp muhammad the lamp muhammad the lamp he is spreading superstition especially stuff like stupidity and claiming that the black dog just because he's a black he is the devil and here you see muhammad how much he hate the black color claiming that the black color is the evil color this is why he was making fun from the look of a black people he said you obey your leader you know muhammad he wanted to win a war so he uh, gave some positions to black slaves because they are physically fit and they are strong and those white arab they say we will not be under the command of those people they said obey your leader which i appointed even if his head is what let us see the hadith You remember the hadith, right? Making fun of the look of the look of the black people. Disgusting person. Even if his head is like a raisin, we are made for made your chief. You see it? This is the light, Muhammad, the light for the world is teaching us wisdom. He did not say even if he's a black, no. So what if he's a black, no. He didn't say, oh, so what, like, okay, he's a human being like us, no. He described him in a very insulting way. Now today we promised the Christians to take some calls from them, but if there is any Muslim would like to call me, please feel free, especially if you are a person who have a beard. Hmm? If you have anything to say to us, to prove to us that Muhammad, Aka Allah is God. You see, I search in the internet always, like when I pick up a topic, the case of Allah. The Muslims, they have articles saying, uh, you know, they want to prove to us that Allah is exist. How how they prove that to us? Read the article. Allah said, Allah said, Allah said. Okay, Christian Prince, he can say he is God too. Mimi Hijab can say that. He's God actually. He's, you see his beard, he's he camping it always. And he's selling things in the stuff in the car. Allah said, a light has a new now come to you from God. Okay, how Allah is God and he says a light has come to you from God. So who is the one is talking? I mean, isn't it obvious here there is something stupid in the conversation? Because if I am the one is talking, I will not say a light has come to you from God. You should say from me. Isn't he God? Or he's the neighbor? Who is Allah? Why Allah, he don't say that he is the one is talking. Why it's always somebody else is talking. Right? Any Muhammadan, he want to tell us? So look at this, how they prove to us of Allah. They say, Allah said, Allah said, Allah said. What is that? Truly, it is the remembrance of God that heart find peace. What does that mean? What is that? Stupidity. Yeah, the question is, can the Muslims say the same? Can they do they dare to say anyone can call us so Christian prince can call them so we can laugh? But you know, we gave them we gave them opportunity. We called them last time, they hang up on me and mute me more than seven times. Cowards. If we search for different article, Allah the only uh, the one and the only true God in Islam. If 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 
this is this is here you have to focus in the only I mean you see the only <laughs> well no Allah is not the only because the, the the God is the one you obey blindly and that is Muhammad Allah is just a name Muhammad he used to subdue you as an example when Muhammad he made a verse in the Quran says any any Muslim woman she want to give her bum or private part to me Allah said that but there's no way this God he would say to a prophet any woman she can give herself to you why what does that mean what does this have to do with God the men already have tons of wives what is missing here huh how a verse like this can be from God or if it is about who can sleep with the prophet God the one who created the seven galaxies and seven seas and seven midget and seven trees remember there is a little tree in the heaven true story this God he sat in his barbecue room and he decided to write to Muhammad saying to him dear darling Muhammad Today I made offer for you, Muhammad. All the women who they are, you paid their dowries. They already he's sleeping with them for the last century. Now you remember to send him a message. And those who you are right hand possess. Uh -huh. Now you told him after he stepped with them. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He tell the guy, sleep with them after he stepped with them and raped them long time ago. Don't you think that delivery is so late? What is this? And then out of the prisoner of whom Allah assigned to you, Allah assigned to you. So even the prisoner of war, Allah assigned them to Muhammad so he can rape them. Uh -huh. This is God. And the daughter is of the paternal uncle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now Allah is explaining. And the daughter of the other and the ants. Like, what is that? This is God. <laughs> this is God. <laughs> And this is all just from Muhammad. You see, this is not for Islam. Muhammad is not a Muslim. Muhammad, he is God. He have rules for him only. Hmm? And yeah, this is a privilege for the Prophet. Like here it says, and any woman she offer herself. And look at the translation, the first translation. And any believing woman who dictates her soul to the Prophet, dictate her soul. What does that mean, dictate her soul? A woman, she dictate her soul and any, any, so all the wives, all the slaves is not enough. The cousin's daughters is not enough. And any woman, she dictate her soul or her private part. What soul? The translator, maybe he is using Google translation because in Arabic here it says, nafsaha, you know, and nafs, uh, uh, Nafsaha is herself, not her soul. The word nafs means soul, yes, but here the word means herself. If you change the translator, just change the translator, see how it changes. I mean, <clears throat> ah, this is the, the idiot Yusuf Ali. Let us see different idiot, uh, Bikhtar. She, if she give herself into the Prophet, and the guy here, he add the word marriage. Where is the word marriage? Where is the word marriage in the verse in Arabic? This not exist. How this is can be God? And then when women, they start offering themselves for Muhammad to sleep with him because they want to seek refuge. I mean, uh, it's like, a, you know, you, you, you sleep with this guy, you have a free housing, free food for life, and nobody will dare to get close to you. So all women, old women, they start offering themselves to Fufu, Muhammad. And right away, when he noticed that there's old women, and there are women who they are not pleasant in the looking, excuse my language, he decided to make another verse, saying, Allah told me that those women who offer themselves to you, you can put them aside or temporarily or take them right away. It's up to you. Like what? set them aside are they chicken this is god if you don't like this translation abdul I, this is not me this is your muslim translation this is big time let us see see different idiot uh hilali and khan 
Here we go. You, Muhammad, S-A-W, you don't, don't even dare to say his name without adding like tons of title. S-A-W, F-M, short wave, long wave, whatever, you know, I mean, madness. We say the name of Jesus, we say Jesus, and he is our God. Muslim, Muhammad, S-A-W, P-O-N-E-O-N, because he's God for them. Pagan can post on the turn of whom you will of them what they are the coward your wives what it says wives those who they are offer themselves have you ever heard of a god like this turn off why are they are they like a faucet but muhammad he start receiving offer from women who they are not good looking and old so he was saying uh oh i made a statement that any woman she can offer myself i forgot to mention i like only young girls Someone saying Jesus hate you, my friend. Don't worry about Jesus. Nobody hate Jesus. Let us say Jesus hate me, but you hate Jesus, because look what you do in Islam. All what you try to do in Islam is to put Jesus down and to put Muhammad high. You are the one who hate Jesus. In the top of that, Muhammad, the proof that Muhammad is a light for the world. Muhammad he liked children. Not only he married children. If we can call it marriage, this is nothing but a rape. Muhammad, he advised his men to sleep with the children. Here you see how much Muhammad is a very high noble person. Look at this. Look how, look how he is noble. A man, his name is Jabir. Now the Muslim, they will make a, a video refute me. No, CP. It hadith doesn't say that, CP. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's in the front of you. The guy, he married a widow. Previously married women. The prophet asked him, what did you marry? He said, did you marry? Look, the prophet said, did you marry a virgin who is young? Or you marry a woman she is previously married? The question is very simple, very clear. Hmm? Muhammad, he is asking a very subtle, little, very specific question. Did you marry a woman or a child? This is what the hadith is saying. Read the hadith carefully because the Muslim, they will say, well, no, he is not, doesn't say that. Read carefully. Everything we say, it's in the screen. Abdullah died and he left behind him nine or seven daughters. I married a woman who had been previously married. Allah, messenger, said to me, Jabir, <laughs> have you married Jabir? I said, yes. He said, a virgin or a previously married. Here you see the wisdom of Muhammad. Hold on. Imagine I see uh, Mimi or Fifi or Susu and he told me I'm a, I get married. Now I have to put nose and ask him about the position of her, his wife vagina. Excuse my language. All right, guys. Sorry, I apologize. The internet, the internet is really horrible. I lost my connection. Um, I hope the sound is coming good now. Let us see. Am I heard now? All right. What I can do, the connection, the, this internet is really bad. Um, as you know, I'm not home, so I cannot complain. Um, anyway. Uh, so if you notice in the hadith with us, it says he's asking is she a virgin or she is not? Ask yourself a very simple question. What is the business of Muhammad on such a question? How filthy. Imagine somebody come to your house and he asks you about your wife. He, you say, he say to you, you married her. Is she a virgin or she is not? 
Isn't it? This is this is an insult actually. If Jabir is a person who have an honor, he should slam Muhammad in his face, which is his butt. This is an insult. What's your business? First of all, this is very bad ethically to ask. Secondly, none of your business. Number three, the guy is married. He is not sleeping around. So she is, what, what a difference is going to make for you? What is the purpose of the question? What is the wisdom behind the question? You see, when we say a man is, is, is a prophet, then supposedly uh, the Quran says, as you see here, it says that he is light. He is, he is light for the world. So the man, he is the light of the world. Okay, what is the light here? What the light of the world have to do with the vagina of the wife of Jabir? Any Muhammadan can tell us? We will start taking call from Christians. Just give me, you know, maybe 15 minutes. And, you know, because maybe we can get a fish. So what kind of man this man is? And then look what, the, what, what happened after. I said, Messenger of Allah, uh, one would have previously married, whereupon he said, why? Why? Why you don't marry a young girl? You see the problem? Do you see the filthy prophet of God? The man is happily married. There is no reason for the conversation. He is not complaining to Muhammad. He is not complaining to anyone. The fact that hadith in different hadith says that he is trying to go fast home because he misses his wife. And now Muhammad is giving the amazing wisdom. But look what Muhammad did by saying this hadith. Uh, by the way, the Muslims, they will say, it's weak. Uh, the Prophet did not say that. No, he said that. Stupid idiot. Shut up. Shut up. Sahih Muslim. And we can show it to you from many, many sources. Why didn't you marry a young girl, a child like Muhammad, he married Aisha? And here we notice that Muhammad, when he didn't marry Khadija, this was not his choice. Correct? Because Muhammad, when, he, when, a, when a man advised you to marry someone she is not previously 